Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, pleased uh, that uh, you come to my presentation. And um, firstly, let me introduce myself very shortly. Uh, my name is Svatoslav Ondra. I'm coming from the uh, Masaryk University, uh, which is the second largest university in uh, the Czech Republic. Um, we have approximately 40, more than 40,000 uh, students. And uh, we run uh, one of the biggest support center uh, in our country. Uh, and um, the topic which I would like to present to you today uh, is a bit, uh, let's say, practical. Uh, and um, it is about how to assure uh, the accessibility of campus uh, in terms of the architectural accessibility, uh, mainly meant for uh, motor disabled or for people with um, mobility difficulties. Um, in last presentations, uh, we have heard uh, several um, speeches about uh, UDL um, in theory, the, their principles uh, and their framework, and uh, several speeches about how to apply them uh, in practice. And um, because of the world is very diverse and quite complex, I would like to um, introduce how um, we, as the support center, consider the UDL uh, in practice and how we um, are bringing it uh, into the reality in the field uh, which I announced, uh, physical accessibility of the buildings. Um, activities of our universities uh, are spread uh, in, the, in the city in, dozen, in dozens of buildings. Uh, these are of very different age, uh, very different architecture, uh, some of them were, for example, old uh, grammar schools, secondary schools from 18th or 19th century. Uh, some of them are the old military hospitals and so on and so on. Uh, and uh, many of them are kept in the protection of the architectural heritage. And uh, just this as an illustration of the diversity of uh, the objects uh, which uh, we are responsible uh, to uh, make them accessible. Um, in our university, uh, which has uh, eight faculties, uh, um, approximately 70 students uh, with uh, various um, types of mobility impairments, mobility difficulties, and uh, motor disabilities, uh, study. Um, they study approximately 20 or 25 disciplines, uh, and uh, as uh, it is the case of the buildings, of course, these users of the buildings, students, and other staff of the university is very diverse. Um, I already said that our support center uh, is the university-wide uh, unit providing services. And uh, our main responsible is, or responsibility is to make uh, curricula, uh, um, educational environment, um, buildings, and um, information uh, provided uh, accessible for all those uh, with special needs, uh, which, uh, uh, among many other things, means to eliminate physical barriers in the university premises. Um, of course, uh, eliminating barriers is uh, and uh, putting them uh, in the premises uh, together with the management of the school or of the university uh, is uh, one part. Uh, but I think it is uh, quite clear that because of the variety uh, of, uh, the, of the world, of the buildings, and of the users, uh, it is not possible uh, to uh, say or to reach uh, a point where everything will be accessible. And uh, by the way, um, do you think that uh, it is possible to declare uh, any building or any information, so physical on one side and virtual uh, reality of their life, uh, which uh, is fully accessible? Uh, in our opinion, it is not the case. Uh, and. Um, Therefore, uh, we um, don't consider uh, as, uh, let's say, um, principle or our goal to assess um, uh, premises um, uh, 
whether it simply conforms any any standard or any technical uh, standard. If uh, it conforms or not, uh, it is, in our opinion, not the question. Uh, what is more to be helpful or considerable, in our opinion, is uh, to uh, keep records about the situation, about uh, how uh, the building is in the in the moment, what are the technical specification in each possible detail, uh, which are relevant uh, to uh, users uh, uh, to have a relevant view on practical accessibility uh, of the building. So it means that uh, the question is if uh, not if the building is accessible, yes or no, uh, but uh, um, in our opinion, uh, the question or the answer for the question is how. Uh, so, therefore, uh, our aim uh, is uh, to provide or to collect and provide all uh, possible practical data uh, of the situation uh, in premises, uh, which users can use in advance, for example, and uh, check if uh, um, it is uh, usable for them. Uh, according to their needs, according to uh, their skills, according to uh, their disability, uh, and so on. Uh, for keeping these records and uh, publishing uh, these uh, informations, uh, which are maybe a bit boring technical mostly, um, we have developed uh, our own uh, application or tool, which is web-based and um, uh, ready for several um, computer platforms. Uh, the prim primary idea is that it is a kind of virtual tour, maybe, uh, what you surely know from uh, um, premises like hotels, for example, or uh, any other sites which uh, um, illustrates or demonstrates online how it looks like, or uh, well-known street view um, application uh, of Google. Um, in our idea, uh, there is one big difference between those um, uh, mostly commercially used virtual tours and our virtual guide. And that's why I'm calling a guide, not a tour. Uh, the difference is that um, in our case, we are not trying uh, to pretend that everything is perfect. Uh, that uh, everything is nice, uh, but uh, uh, we providing the information uh, which uh, users may need to decide how far the uh, situation and reality in the premises is useful, which particular barrier uh, will uh, occur for uh, this particular user. Um, the virtual guide uh, consists of um, panoramic images uh, which uh, demonstrates or captures uh, some key points uh, with free, for 360 degrees view. And um, these uh, key points uh, are linked together uh, by uh, so-called track or trace lines uh, which uh, usually um, illustrates or denotes uh, the preferred way uh, between the most used uh, areas uh, of the building. So this is, let's say, the first say, layer or level uh, how the uh, space uh, inside the buildings is presented. And it is then supplemented or um, uh, added uh, by still images uh, which can uh, and which uh, demonstrates and illustrates details uh, like uh, cloakrooms, uh, like uh, uh, entrances, like devices uh, used in the buildings uh, for um, um, fix of solving the barriers. Uh, and uh, um, these still images are then even provided with uh, some technical data of dimensions about the angle of slope, for example, in the ramp, um, for instance. 
and uh, all these informations are then uh, described uh, and um, illustrated by text, with text description of the key points and of the uh, images. Um, to navigate through uh, all the all the guide, uh, the application interface, of course, has to have uh, some tools or controls uh, to uh, for navigation, uh, which are um, mostly interactive plan view, uh, which helps uh, user to get an overview about uh, the space itself uh, in general, and uh, usual navigation con navigation controls to uh, manipulate with the view. Um, so it was the structure uh, and uh, the content uh, or the information uh, which a user can find uh, in the application interface uh, um, is what I partially said, uh, mainly um, um, signs up the entrance which is very free and uh, uh, more usable uh, for uh, users with uh, mobility uh, difficulties, uh, entrances into the building or inside uh, the building, and um, um, points uh, which uh, recommends and uh, illustrates options of moving in the building vertically. Uh, uh, um, so typically ramps, lift platforms or elevators. And uh, all these parts uh, of application or data uh, are then linked together uh, by typical tracks uh, to the most used destinations. Um, this is uh, the basic uh, view of uh, the interface. Uh, as you can see uh, what I described before, uh, the main view uh, is the panoramic image uh, of a key point uh, mostly a um, point where the traces or uh, routes are divided uh, to several directions. Um, in the uh, right-hand side, uh, there is an interactive view plan uh, which demonstrates uh, the um, scheme of the floor. And um, this circle uh, then, uh, of course, demonstrates uh, the angle uh, of view uh, of the um, panoramic image. Uh, the same is uh, the illustration of the view in, in the plan. And um, in all points uh, displayed in the interactive plan, um, then of course um, are the notes for uh, the key points uh, which are stored as panoramic image uh, in that particle floor. And it can be used for switching or uh, quick switching between uh, the points. Uh, so the uh, control elements or the possibility how to navigate uh, in the application itself uh, is the control uh, view to uh, change the floor. I'm sorry here for the uh, check screenshot of the application because in the time when I was due to provide the presentation, the English version of the interface was not ready yet. Um, so uh, the control element uh, number two, one, number one is um, control for uh, moving or changing the uh, the floors. Uh, to uh, move within the building horizontally, uh, as said, uh, there is the interactive view plan, and uh, then the uh, trace line, similar like, for example, in the street uh, street view of, of Google, uh, which can be used to move the view further or to another place. Bottom controls, uh, which can be used by mouse or by uh, the keyboard uh, shortcut, uh, is then to uh, move the view of the panoramic, panoramic uh, image. And uh, as said before, uh, the circle number five in the right-hand corner, uh, bottom right corner, uh, is used to uh, move the angle of view. And um, so this is this was the. Uh, main view of the space itself, uh, but without uh, additional textual information, 
which describes the practical and technical details of um, uh, um, each position, elements, devices, and other um, appliances in uh, the building, uh, we would not uh, keep the uh, idea which I described in the, in the beginning, uh, meaning that this platform provides uh, the uh, information for users what they can expect ex uh, exactly uh, in the building. Uh, just very shortly for those who are interested in the technology uh, which is applied uh, very shortly, um, uh, the um, interface of the application starts uh, with the index of those buildings which are mapped or recorded, uh, processed, uh, some kind of list of faculties and uh, map. And uh, this starting index uh, is um, built up on the um, content management system Kentico, which we uh, use uh, also for our main web system. And uh, the virtual guide uh, application uh, itself is then based on the Kirpano and Panotour uh, systems. Um, at the moment, uh, the project of the development um, um, ended its pilot phase uh, where we processed uh, three buildings of the university. So it means uh, not more than 5% uh, of the university buildings at the moment. Um, and um, uh, now we are starting to run the first uh, user testing and uh, getting feedback uh, from users and um, other part of the university like management and uh, other departments of the university which is also responsible for facility management uh, and uh, from all these sites uh, we are going to get feedback. Um, in short term future uh, um, of course we are going to process uh, uh, further data of uh, other buildings of the university and to uh, publish them and uh, to add some uh, let's say minor or uh, smaller features for example, users' notification uh, of updates, uh, um, which uh, users um, find they themselves uh, in the um, uh, in the premises or in the in the buildings, uh, and of course any uh, changes or temporarily malfunctions of the devices uh, or organizational problems in the buildings, which uh, are discovered by us or uh, by users. Uh, will be, of course, then also um, uh, published uh, in this system. And uh, for all of these uh, updates and uh, notifications, uh, the system is not ready yet. And this is our idea uh, of uh, the next um, features to be added. Uh, and in the long-term perspective, uh, we would like to uh, in extend uh, the target group uh, of uh, this application or uh, this platform. Uh, it, uh, until now, uh, all the data uh, are um, uh, mainly meant for uh, mobility um, impaired or uh, users with any mobility difficulty. Uh, but because the number of uh, blind and visually impaired uh, students and uh, employees in our university uh, is uh, comparable to the first group, we are going to um, uh, in the next version of the application to modify interface and process the data of the buildings um, in the field of orienteering of, of, of blind. So thank you for your attention uh, and uh, if we have still some time uh, I can present uh, um, pr practical uh, demonstration life uh, of the application. This is the starting index uh, of um, uh, the tool, uh, which now uh, lists uh, three buildings uh, of uh, the university. And I'm opening uh, the let's say starting page of uh, uh, the exploration of one of the buildings. It is a faculty of social studies. Um, this element, by this control, which is some kind of uh, combo box uh, positioned in the top of uh, uh, the window application, 
uh, I can choose uh, the floor uh, I want to enter and to explore. And I'm opening uh, a particular uh, detail of uh, the door to the elevator, um, getting known uh, the dimensions of the door and of the cabin inside. And uh, the more detailed description of uh, the whole floor, uh, which is displayed in the left corner, uh, not translated yet, uh, and it, it says that the whole second floor of this building is the only one um, um, which uh, you can go through around as the building has the uh, triangle um, uh, shape and uh, the um, uh, going through the corridor is limited uh, by the two wing door uh, with particular width and uh, uh, particular um, um, depth. So this is another key point uh, of the uh, of the tour, uh, and again, uh, description uh, of the most important information uh, in that position uh, says the description, which, which is described in the, the uh, small window uh, on bottom left, uh, saying the dimensions uh, of uh, the toilet and the uh, more detailed information. Um, Maybe as a last point uh, to be said is that uh, we didn't uh, plan or intend uh, to have uh, this platform as an uh, orientation system. Uh, so it means that uh, the application does not provide um, what is uh, located uh, in particular places of the building, uh, which department, for example, or which office of home and etc. Um, uh, just because that uh, the other systems uh, of the central university um, uh, management is providing these data and um, uh, secondly uh, that uh, it's true that these information are um, to be updated maybe more often than these technical details on accessibility uh, but uh, our let's say longer longer uh, term perspective is to integrate uh, uh, both systems, uh, our own, which uh, provides the information on accessibility with uh, the um, uh, navigation and orientation um, uh, tools which university provides for um, locations, offices, and, uh, and so on. So that's it. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you, Svatoslav. That was uh, fascinating. Uh, if nobody else has got questions, I have, but uh, let's go to the floor first. Thank you. No, not yet. Do you want to try this one? So, th is it working now? Yeah. Uh, thank you. It was very interesting. Nice to see all this. I just wonder, is it available on a smartphone too? That, that Sorry, uh, I didn't. Is it, uh, this guide, is it available for smartphones as well? Uh, yes, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention it. Uh, it's true that uh, it is only web-based application now, uh, so it is online only. Uh, and uh, for um, using on the mobile platforms, uh, uh, there is no what's a native application ready, uh, but the uh, interface uh, is um, optimized uh, for the mobile interfaces as well. And uh, for example, uh, those mobile uh, those devices which has the uh, gyroscope, uh, it uses it and uh, moves the view of the panoramic image according to the gyroscope. So you can try it also. Yes. Thanks. Uh, hello. Um, thank you. That's very interesting. Um, I'm particularly interested that you are planning to extend this um, to give inform similar information for blind visitors. Um, the, the things you've chosen for the sighted 
wheelchair or, or mobility impaired users is great. You know, the panorama is fantastic, the lines are like on Google Maps, etc. How, how do you plan to present that information about, for instance, uh, preferred routes and about where you can get information about particular objects or rooms? How for do you present that? Mean, yeah, to, for the blind yeah. users. Uh, first of all, um, the application, uh, or this version of the application um, uh, itself, uh, of course, uh, will have to be more textual uh, and uh, describe uh, the information uh, about the structure of the building uh, in text only as a first layer, and of course, uh, including all the information about uh, the routes, about the navigation elements to be used, uh, and, and so on, etc. And uh, besides that, uh, we are going to um, provide the, let's say, repository uh, of the uh, um, digital sources for the tactile um, image, uh, which uh, um, user can impose uh, or um, print it on the swell paper, for example, or uh, it can be provided for him by our center. Uh, so it means uh, that all the visual information for uh, getting oriented for blind uh, um, will be uh, in, let's say, this digital form as a ready format for the tactile print. And these prints, of course, then will be available physically uh, in our uh, office. And, and what about that? I mean, because one of the good things is that the user there can actually move through the building and they can visit things along the way. Do you have um, thoughts about how you might provide that kind of functionality for blind users? Uh, actually, it, mean, it would mean, if I understood uh, your question, uh, actually it would mean uh, to have uh, any uh, locating function which works uh, indoor. Uh, if I understood your question well, I'm not sure. Uh, so I can imagine an application uh, which um, is able to determine uh, the position of the user in the building uh, and according to that uh, to provide um, um, particular um, information related to uh, that point or to that um, place. Uh, but uh, except uh, the um, technology bay of the location or locating um, based on the uh, Wi-Fi uh, access points, for example, uh, it is quite hard to uh, have um, the ability or uh, the technology which determines the position indoor. Yeah, that, wasn't, that wasn't actually what, the, what mm -hmm. I meant. It's just that, that, that what you have here is a pre-planning tool. You're going to visit a building mm -hmm. and you can have a virtual, you can walk around it virtually before you go. Now for a blind person, I could imagine they could do the same. They could um, tell them with audio, you're in this room, this is what's around you. You could have that information via audio. And then they could have a way, particularly with a smartphone or a tablet, of swiping to go mm -hmm. forward when they know, you know, when it says swipe to go forward to this room or swipe to go left to that room, and they can literally, you know, walk through the room I in advance. Yeah, it, it is one of the way, uh, one of the possibility, I, I guess. Uh, the disadvantage of that uh, is that uh, there is no possibility to, to provide the general, let's say, view uh, or general um, perception of, of the space or the, the, the shape of the building and the relation of, of that and, and so on. But maybe in combination of both, uh, what I said and what you suggested, it could be the way. Thank you. Okay. Uh, any more questions? No. H how long did it take you, Svatoslav? Um, to develop uh, the application itself was approximately four months uh, with tuning uh, and so on. But of course, uh, the most difficult was the collecting data uh, to agree with the management of the buildings, to find the right time, the time of the photographer, and to process the pictures and so on. Uh, and um, uh, so in total, uh, approximately six months. Okay. Wow. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very, very much.